What do you mean about that? So easy, you cannot do this by yourself. Unless you really want to do it by yourself, feel free to do it by yourself. I'm not going to stop you. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today I'm going to show you the six simple steps how to find your next neighborhood to live in. All right. If you are particularly looking to find a property or maybe let's say you want to stay in something nice, quiet, safe neighborhoods, make sure to stay in this video because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the six simple steps where you can guide or I'm going to guide you to find the best neighborhood for you. But before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And the most important thing, smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends. All right, without further ado, let's jump into it. So number one tip that I'm going to show you how to find your best neighborhood or your next neighborhood is the online resources. Okay, so what do you mean online resources, RJ? I'm confused. You can find some good online resources, which I did last time where you can find my online resources in poodle.com okay i did a video in the past where you can find like a new neighborhood who is just building for new construction as i'm specializing in new construction what i will do is if you want to see those listing that i have for new neighborhoods for new construction i will put some link here or over here you just click that link and it will help you to my listing new neighborhoods to the poodle.com okay so it's not just about hoodle.com. There's a lot of online resources where you can find. If you go type in Google, new neighborhoods or in specific area like here in Central Florida, you just type how to find a new neighborhood in Central Florida or here in Claremont. They will show you what kind of neighborhood that they will offer or what kind of neighborhood is available in this area. Okay, there's a lot of online resources. Make sure to go online and then find out. And once you have like, let's say you have three or four or maybe five choices write them down and then once you write them down those five choices what you need to do is come over here when you have time not here particular in my area but to the area that you where you want to live okay so once you got those five lists what you need to do is my tip number two okay you need to visit these areas okay so once you visit this area, what you need to do is compare those area, those five area, or that's I would say five neighborhoods that where you pick, okay? So let's say you pick neighborhood number one, neighborhood number two, neighborhood number three, four, and five, okay? And then once you visited all those neighborhood, you will have some cons and pro or pro and cons, okay? So what you need to do is once you visited those those five, you need to narrow it down to top three, okay? Once you have those five, obviously you're not gonna leave all those five neighborhoods, right? So once you narrow down the top three, so what you need to do on those top three, get the most of your choices what you want to live in for example i give you like good example number one is like do you want in this top three neighborhood is a gated community if you want a gated community number two do they offer a good amenities like um swimming pool gym or they will take care of your lawn they will cut your grass or you know whatever they offer okay or let's say look at the surrounding area if they have a lot of of good stuff to offer to you would you accept that offer or would they say if they have a good community where you can hang out on during the weekend or do they have like a lot of activities in that neighborhood you know those little things so you need to make sure to compare everything okay so once you compared everything all you need to do is just pick one neighborhood so once you pick those neighborhood all you need to do is that you need to research on that neighborhood if all the specific information that you want to have in this neighborhood has in that neighborhood or the included when you live there okay most of the neighborhood here in central florida especially the new neighborhoods we have like they called hoa okay what is hoa hoa means like that's the monthly payment that you have to pay for that community to look after your neighborhood or your community okay so for example um you're paying around 100 or 200 
dollars per month for your HOA. What's included the HOA? Most of the HOA included, you can use the amenities like the swimming pool 24-7, every day 365 a year. You can also use their facilities if they have like let's say a gym inside of the facilities or inside the area. Or I would say if they have something, they have like a tennis court or also a basketball court or something like that you know make sure that you know what they offer okay sometimes some HOA they have rules and regulation that you need to follow because if you don't know the rules and regulation if and if you want to do something in your property you need to make some agreements with the HOA first you cannot just do anything about your property okay so make sure that you understand that point because if you don't understand that point it could be a problem in the future sounds good so let's go to my tip number three. So tip number three is you need to check the availability in that area. Okay, let's say you're looking for a good neighborhood. Make sure that if that neighborhood, they have some availability or they have some inventory in the market in that particular neighborhood. So what do you mean? How can I do that? All you need to do if you want to do it by yourself, you need to go to any kind of website which I talk about, let's say the hoodle.com where I have a listing or else like you can use also the Zillow, realtor.com and all that stuff website, okay? And then what you need to do when you go to that website, you need to type the particular neighborhood or the particular zip code or the community or particular area that you want to live in, okay? So once you type those area, make sure that they have inventory on that particular community otherwise if they don't have a inventory or they don't have anything for sale on that particular area you have to move to your choices let's remember you have three choices remaining so if you don't have the other one you still have the you know your top two so you can just pick those make sure that you have those availability otherwise if all those three options doesn't have any inventory or any something for sale in the market obviously you need to find somewhere else okay sounds good let's go to my tip number four tip number four is research the school system or the school obviously if you have some family you have a kid you need your kid needs to go to school so what you need to do is research the school where you want to live here all right i would say a good school here in particular in my area i'm located in central florida okay so i would suggest like if you really want a really good school system here is you can type in Lake Nona okay Lake Nona I would say one of the best school system here in Central Florida and also not just Lake Nona I will also say like Dr. Phillips it's also good school system and also Winter Garden you know those are my top three remember and also if you want to know more I will also say Claremont good system as well those are my top four those are my top four area or location where you can find a good school system why good good school system is important when you're finding a neighborhood simple because you need to find something where your kids gonna go every day or day in day out obviously if the ranking of that school system is high and it's good so it means like the people who are living in that particular area are good too right does it make sense obviously if the school system is the rating is low what would you think about that community or that area all right so it's gonna be not good too right so think about that stuff okay but i'm not saying for those area that i didn't mention in central florida the good systems are, are bad obviously it also depends on the particular area or particular location okay if you want more details feel free to contact me and i will give you some more information about good school system here okay so let's go to my tip number five so tip number five is consider your commute what do you mean about consider your commute now rj i'm confused even me i'm confused so consider your commute it means like if you are going to stay in this particular neighborhood and if you are going to work on some place is your commute is doable from point a to point b or can you use like a public transportation from point a to point b or how far from the school to your house for your kids to travel from point a to point b you know think about those because that is important if you don't think about those commute or those particular distance in the future once you move in that particular neighborhood it might be a headache for you let's say you have to travel for 40 minutes to an hour every single day to your home 
to go to the work. Would you be able to drive or would you be okay driving from the point A to point B every day for your work? You don't mind driving from an hour one way and an hour on the way back? Would you mind that? So think about those things and also do you consider about the traffic as well? If you say yeah it's only 30 minutes or let's say it's only about 10 miles from point A to point B from my community to my work 10 miles but those 10 miles in that 10 miles do you have do you know how bad is the traffic on particular hours from rush hour from 8 to 10 or 5 to 7 and think about where you are staying so you need to consider about your commute as well so that once you move in there you don't have to worry about how far that you are going to your work and going back home all right I hope that makes sense and let's go to my last tip is find the local incredible realtor <clears throat> you know that <clears throat> so someone is called what do you mean about that so easy you cannot do this by yourself unless you really want to do it by yourself feel free to do it by yourself i'm not gonna stop you i am just saying you need to find a local realtor because me not just me or all the realtor out here in central florida we are here to help you and also not just to help you to guide you the proper way how to find the best home for you especially if you're a first-time home buyer right if you're a first-time home buyer what do you know about real estate no right what do you know about finding a neighborhood something like this that we're talking about here in youtube no right what do you know about making offer about real estate it will be hard for you and also it will be time consuming as well all right so if you find a local realtor or a incredible realtor like me to make sure that you will get the connection okay that connection must be not just about the transaction you need to have a good connection i would say a good relationship to each other because we or me as a real local realtor i don't care about the transaction most of my time that i spend to my clients are more about the relationship i want them to trust me to find the best home for them or the best neighborhood for them all right so that once i found the best neighborhood for them or the best home for them once they feel happy that they found the best home for them i will be happy too all right i hope that makes sense because otherwise if you make some mistakes during or in your process of home buying number one it will delay about your closing number two you will spend more money you might need someone like a lawyer or attorney about the real estate if you did something wrong during your process okay so that's number one important about hiring a local realtor or incredible realtor <coughs> like me on your home buying process all right so that's the video for today i hope this video is helpful and if you stay in this video until this end comment down below neighborhood so i could see how many people who watch this video and i really appreciate your time watching my video from this start until the end once again thank you for watching this video i know i'm talking too much so i'm stopping my video right now peace what is going on guys this is arjay bautista your top blah, 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 blah.